Many locations around the world have become famous as a result of memorable movie scenes. Visitors flock to view the places where legendary actors had moments of action and love. What do we know about the locations where it was shot? Here's what you can expect from Daniel Craig's eagerly awaited final performance as the illustrious British spy, as well as a list of all the stunning locales that have appeared in the renowned movie series. The James Bond series has highlighted numerous destinations we wish to visit, including Venice, the Bahamas, Cairo, and Tokyo. Hello people and welcome back to the Juno Travels Channel. Let us start our journey together now. Number 1. The UK Although we may never be sure where the world traveling 007 will appear next, we can always be sure there will be some of Britain. London has played a more significant role in recent decades, and this is no exception. After a string of mysterious locations, Bond's MI6 HQ spent the middle of the 1980s at the Old War Office, Octopussy, A View to Kill, and License to Kill, at Old War Office in Whitehall, before relocating to the actual MI6 building on Albert Embankment for Goldeneye. Before we saw it blow up in Skyfall, there were cuts to Somerset House, Tomorrow Never Dies and the Barbican Center, Quantum of Solace. We also looked at Bond's apartment in Spectre, located at 1 Stanley Gardens in Notting Hill, West London. In No Time to Die, in addition to visiting Q's house and Whitehall, we will also travel to the West for a secret encounter between Bond and M under the arches of Hammersmith Bridge. Number 2. Scotland after Skyfall's extended homecoming for the conclusion, Scotland has also been the location of initial filming. Although it's unlikely that Bond would visit his home country for the film, a lockside vehicle chase was recorded in the Cairngorms National Park beside Loch Logan on the grounds of Ard Verrecke House, nicknamed Balmoral in the Crown. As usual, a large portion of what we'll see was shot in Pinewood, James Bond's home studio in Buckinghamshire. This time, the Havana theme scenes, including the one in the trailer, were shot on location. In the past, Pinewood's surrounding area has also frequently appeared in film. For example, much of Skyfall Scotland was shot nearby. While for the world is not enough, the oil fields of Azerbaijan were moved to Elstead in Surrey. When Bond faces the titular lousy guy in Goldfinger 1964, he plays golf at the nearby Stoke Park Country Club, which was later transformed into a hotel in Hamburg for Tomorrow Never Dies. And he stays at the John Nash-designed Chalfont Park House in Gerard's Cross and visits the spa in Thunderball. Number 3. Hong Kong Hong Kong first appeared in the James Bond series in 1967 in the film You Only Live Twice. However, they also appeared in The Man with the Golden Gun seven years later. Of course, fans of the latter movie can still go to Kowloon's renowned Peninsula Hong Kong Hotel. Sadly, the Bottoms Up Club has been shut down. After all the above, Pierce Brosnan's final movie, Die Another Day, 2002, includes Hong Kong. Number 4. Jamaica The island was described as Bond's spiritual home by producer Barbara Broccoli. She disclosed that Bond would be living there at the beginning of the new film. The launch of Bond 25 took place at author Ian Fleming's residence, Goldeneye, in Jamaica. At the beginning of the Roger Moore era, he went back to Jamaica, as San Monique, for the 1973 film Live and Let Die, where he battled the voodoo priest Baron Samadhi from his headquarters at the San Suchi Hotel in Ocho Rios, which also appeared in Dr. No. That film's famous crocodile jumping scene, reportedly shot in Louisiana, was also shot on the island near Montego Bay at the farm of local figure Ross Konanga Heilman. It's now known as Falmouth Swamp Safari and is a renowned tourist attraction. Number 5. Port Antonio The teaser portrays our protagonist as having left Her Majesty's Secret Service and living in a beachfront home in Port Antonio on the island's northeast coast. The city of Kingston, which is the capital, saw additional filming. The island is undoubtedly familiar territory for Bond, since Sean Connery watched Honey Rider, Ursula Andress, he emerged from the sea in Dr. No, 1962, the spy's first cinematic appearance. The duo then showered off beneath the nearby Dunn River Falls in an almost as famous scene. That beach was Laughing Waters, which was then a part of a private estate close to Ocho Rios. He was in the Bahamas in Thunderball 1965, playing high-stakes poker on Paradise Island and fending off specter divers and marine creatures in the Exuma Cay's waters. 
you may visit the Thunderball Grotto, which has since been renamed and featured in Splash 1984. Number six, South Florida, US. The directors expressed a lot of enthusiasm for South Florida. Miami last appeared in Casino Royale when Bond was riding in a cab after Alex Dimitrios. The Fountain Blue Hotel on Miami Beach was featured in Goldfinger in 1964, and the series returned to the Magic City a year later in Thunderball in 1965. Scenes for GoldenEye were filmed in the Florida Keys in 1995 with Pierce Brosnan's Bond. Number 7. Norway In the No Time to Die trailer, we got a peek of Norway as Leia Seydoux's adult Madeline Swan was chased by Rami Malek's villain across a frozen lake. This is Longbon, a well-liked outdoor recreation area north of Oslo, close to Hakadal. The nation also features a thrilling action scene on the well-known Atlanterhofsvein, which follows the western shore. In this scene, Bond is pursued by Range Rovers in his Aston Martin over the dips, bends, and arch bridges that connect some small islands. The road was inaugurated in 1989 and is frequently used for commercial filming and vehicle testing. The project was filmed in Kalsoy and its isolated Kalur Lighthouse. Number 8. Czech Republic In the gritty black-and-white opening scene of Casino Royale, Bond kills the British Embassy's treacherous section chief Dryden, who obtained his license to kill and his place in the 00 lineups. The sequence is set in Prague. This scene tells the dramatic tale of 007's beginnings while visually evoking the sober tone of vintage spy thrillers. Number 9. Austria Even though Scandinavia may be new to him, Bond is accustomed to a snowy landscape. One-time Bond Blofeld was located by George Lazenby and brought to the spectacular Piz Gloria, a spinning restaurant on the pinnacle of the Skiltorn near Muren in Switzerland which the producers part-financed and named. This was reflected in Spectre 2015 by the Glasswald Ice Q, a fine dining establishment in Solden, Austria, and the Hoffler Clinic on a hilltop. Number 10. Canada The Spy Who Loved Me's famous stunt in which Bond skis over a cliff before activating a Union Jack parachute, which was supposedly performed in Norway. Actually, it was filmed on Asgard Peak on Baffin Island in Canada. Number 11. Thailand. Exotic location filming became a staple of the Bond franchise once it began in the 1960s, just like wisecracks and bloodless mass shootings. The man with the Golden Gun solar power plant and hall of mirrors on the rocky island of Koh Tapu near Phuket in Thailand, Octopussy's villains hide out at the Lake Palace in Udaipur, or Bond scaling the cliffs of Meteora, Greece, to reach the eerie-like monastery of St. Cyril's in For Your Eyes Only, are some examples of the most memorable one-offs. 1981. Number 12. Italy Director Cary Fukunaga refers to the southern Italian city of Matera as a small hilltop town, which is prominently featured in the No Time to Die teaser, particularly in its opening scene. Despite being small, Matera frequently appears on television. Its dusty chalk houses, returning to prehistoric troglodyte villages, made it favorable for biblical epics, notably The Passion of the Christ 2004, and earned it a position as the fabled town of Themyscira in Wonder Woman 2017. Number 13. Matera Another significant setting from the trailer is the bridge from where Bond makes a breathtaking jump, located just north of Matera. This is the Gravina Puglia Ponta del Aquadado, which was initially constructed as a bridge to connect the town to Madonna della Stella Church on the other side of the ravine. It is hardly surprising that Italy appears in this scene, given that Bond has just developed a fondness for the country. A breathtaking rooftop chase through Piazza del Campo in Siena with the Palio horse race as the backdrop, occurred in Quantum of Solace 2008, while Casino Royale 2006 saw our hero at Villa del Balbianello on the shores of Lake Como and the canals of Venice. Number 14. Brazil The James Bond series fans appear to have been more impressed by a sequence in Rio de Janeiro in the 1979 film Moonraker than the actual film. The film includes pictures of Sugarloaf Mountain, and sites from Brazil's yearly carnival event. Number 15, Haiti. Bond and M follow a criminal named Edmund Slate to Haiti, where the primary investigation in Quantum of Solace begins. There, Bond discovers that Slate is a hitman employed by Dominic Green, drawing him into the oil-based scheme of the main antagonist. Haiti has remarkable and fascinating sites and a robust and active culture. 
although there are luxury resorts all over the Caribbean, this region is far more undeveloped. Haiti has lots of lovely landscapes, its quiet, beautiful beaches, tumbling waterfalls, and towering mountains. Visit and subscribe to our Juno Travels channel for more information on these and other exotic destinations. Don't forget to hit the bell button to be notified when we upload something new. Thanks for watching Juno Travels.